Bang, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain. is your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain and create a new show on YouTube. My name is Shamari Clark. Welcome. Bang. All right. Well, this is fucking take two. I just did this whole fucking show. Holy crap, man. And it fucking... <laughs> My fault. I pressed this button here and I wasn't actually taping anything. So I'm sitting here talking like a jackass in front of a fucking camera. All right. We're going to do it again. All right. So it's going to be boring. It's just going to be news. Anyways, at least I didn't get in any nowhere or anything. Luck, luck. So, bang. A U.S. congressman is launching some bills. Finally, a U.S. congressman is going to use his brains. And we are going to get some crypto legislation passed. Now, Bitcoin whale rumors. They're rumors of the whales. They're not rumors. You know. Bang, bang, bang. I've been showing you them for the whole time since we've been up in this channel. I'm going to show you those whales. And finally, ripple, ripple. Yes, X Rapid. I told you guys last week, Evans. I know you you schooled me. Come on, don't sell, don't sell. I'm a little angry at Ripple. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to keep them. But they have some partnerships. They have brand new partnerships, and we are going to talk about that. Now, let's get to how we usually do. Oh, brothers, brothers, brothers. I can't believe it. Man, I just did a whole good show for you guys, man. And fuck, I didn't press the fucking button. Let me make sure it's pressed this time. All right, there we go. Fuck, man. So I'm just going to breeze through this. It's already 1.30 in the morning. I got to trade in a minute. All oh, the trading is nice looking. So I got to get my charts and everything ready. So I got to go. But all right. So uh, top 10 of the day. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin, Cash, Yield, Stellar, Litecoin, Tether, Cardano, and bang. Monero still holding on. Bang. Mid level. Mid single digits down. Mid single digits. Oh, to double, di to double digits down. To low double digits down. Oh, things are on sale, boys. Go grab that crypto. Fill that warehouse. <laughs> yes, brothers. Oh, there's a bunch of sales on. Fill this warehouse, brothers. Well, let me take a quick look at VeChain. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, fill the warehouse, boys. All right. Top 10. Let's take a quick peek. Bang. Top 10 earners. Oh, it went up 17. Aurora. Oh, and Steam. All right. Let's look at the top 10 of the day. Aurora, Steam, Zcash, IELTS, DAI, DAI. I don't know how you say that. Qcoin shares, Denticoin, Trust U, True USD, Tether, and Chainlink Bank. All right, let's look at the market cap. Is market cap of the day, let's call that 212 billion. And volume of the day, let's call that 15 billion. Actually, it's called a 14.5. Fuck it. Bang. All right, let's get to these stories. Man, I just said all this shit. All right, man. So, a congressman. He is going, he put in three new bills. This is the guy here. Boom, he's from Minnesota. See how it's highlighted? Yeah, because I just highlighted it for the last time I taped this. Bang, Tom Emmer from Minnesota. If you're in Minnesota, vote for this guy. He's a good guy. Let's look at the bills. Let's look at the stuff. Uh, the mainstream adoption movement of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology in the United States has received another boost with Tom Emmer, a U.S. congressman, introducing three new bills in favor of virtual currencies. Not one, not two, but bang, three. This guy's ambitious. The new bills talk about the development of cryptocurrencies as well as throwing support behind the fintech industry. It also gives the readers a sense of clarity about the digital entities and its working. Uh, Congressman Emmer stated, the United States should prioritize accelerating the development of blockchain technology and create an environment that enables the American private sector to lead on innovation and further growth, which is why I am introducing these bills. Right, lead. So let's lead. The first section of the bills wholeheartedly supports digital currencies. We're going to skip down a little bit. Where the internet flourished in part was due to a light touch, he says. A light touch regulatory approach, and that's what he wants again. The verbatim of the bill also indicates that political representatives are giving top priority to safety and protection of the users. As we know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the SEC, their whole excuse for not giving the ETFs for protection of the consumer. And he has finally, okay, well, I, we talked about this for the past few weeks. They keep whining and complaining about money laundering and and uh, terrorist financing. Well, write some laws about it. So this guy's going to write some laws about it. Bang. All right. I know. We're going to go through these fast, man. I'm not doing this more again. I got to go. Uh, one of the most influential diamonds has invested in a Bitcoin hedge fund. This is amazing news for us. This is amazing news, and I'm going to tell you about this. Mike Novogratz, the CEO of Galaxy Digital, said that an influential institutional investor 
has invested in a Bitcoin hedge fund during an interview with CNBC Fast Money. The founder, however, has not revealed the name of the institutional investor, but has stated that they are one of the most influential endowments. He further stated that the influential endowments has not made the announcement yet, and the influential that the endowment hasn't made an announcement yet. And according to him, this is going to be important information. He said that there's going to be institutional FOMO, just like the retail FOMO. All right, all right. Even I have to pause on this. So that's the vibes. Guys, you know, the institutional investors are coming. And look, just like what happened last year at the end of last year. People saw the prices of Bitcoin going through the roof. They all jumped in, right? All the retail investors. Man, man. I'm sure probably about three quarters of you guys just jumped in on that whole thing that happened there. Well, there's also going to be institutional FOMO, as Novogratz tells us. Institutional FOMO. And uh, that's on the way. And so what he also says is, I do think that Bitcoin is going to outperform for a while. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. But everyone who's talking about institutional investors is going to start with Bitcoin. So, and that's the thing. That's why I'm telling you, like, I'm not going to bullshit you. Bitcoin and Litecoin are the two that are going to, you know, skyrocket when these guys first come. When the institutional investors get here, because they're on the Bloomberg terminal. And um, and they've already been, uh, the SEC already said they're commodities. So, as far as they're concerned, the commodity security thing, are you a commodity or a stock thing? They're already... I, oh, I need Ethereum, actually. My bad. My bad, Ethereum holders. Hold on. Don't get angry. Anyways, you got a flippening last week, boys, so shut up <laughs> for a minute. But you got it back. All right. But anyway, though, but yeah, that's what's going to happen. And so, um, you know, at the beginning, it's going to be all about Bitcoin. But thankfully, when Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. When Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down. So it, it's going to be a market-wide increase and that's why you got to get your crypto warehouse built now you have to get your crypto warehouse built now because when it starts and he's going to talk about it we're going to talk about it now it's going to hit that fast and furious and it's coming quick it's coming quick he further stated uh oh, oh right all right why is bitcoin going to go up yeah because all these etfs and different funds hedge funds and all that, they're applying to the SEC to be um, uh, Bitcoin-based. So these are not Ripple ETFs. These aren't Litecoin ETFs. They're not VeChain ETFs. They are Bitcoin ETFs. And that's why Bitcoin is going to fly off the roof. Uh, and then later on down the road, we'll be seeing other ETFs come for other ones. But by then, anyway, whatever, we'll see how it all goes down. Um, he further stated that all the institutional investors' projects are going to start with Bitcoin, okay, because it's a store of value. I told you all that already. Blah, blah, blah. I know there's a lot of you out there. You're a bunch of believers. Oh, you want to buy your Starbucks with this shit. Ain't going to happen. I mean, you might if you're stupid, but institutional guys, they're going to use it as a store of value. Store of value. And because people know also the brand and it's easier to value Bitcoin. Mike said that the internet... Or sorry, the interest of international, holy, institutional investors in the cryptocurrency market has seen a significant growth. He also added that in the next three to six months, big institutions are going to start investing in cryptocurrencies. And when this happens, there will be products apart from custody. So, blah, blah, blah. If you're new here, I mean, come on, man. Go back in the videos. Custody, you're not allowed. I'm not allowed to take a billion dollars of this guy's money, a billion dollars of that guy's money, and just... You know, and buy them some bitcoins and keep them on Ledger Nanos. Here in America, we have rules and there's custody. You got to have it in custody. Custody is going to be your favorite word. And uh, it, it should be already for the boys. I know it is. <laughs> and he said there's going to be more products apart from custody. He said, I think it's going to happen. We're talking lots of them. And at the point, you know, the sky's the limit. Exactly. The sky's the fucking limit. This is an international market. I'm in the Forex market. We trade 5.6 trillion you heard it t trillion dollars a day what do you think is going to happen this is a global market there's going to be trillions trillions eventually 
However, Mike stated that this will not be achieved by the end of this year, but the prices will definitely go up. According to him, the institutional money is going to start flowing in the space of Q1, Q2 of 2019. Bang. That's what I've been telling you, boys. That's what I've been telling you, boys. Look, look, look. And that's why you have to build your cryptocurrency warehouses now. You have to build them now. Ah, oh, fuck. Let me get fueled. Let me see. Maybe, I, maybe I'll do a little bit of Noah. I don't know. We'll see. If you're new here, there was a guy in the Bible. His name was Noah. Now, all of you know the story, I'm sure. What made Noah special? Well, what made Noah special was he knew that an event was going to occur. The flood. God told him, there's a flood coming. Right? And what, But what made him special was that he acted upon it. You don't think Noah told all his buddies, yo, dudes, last night, man, holy crap, I was lying in bed. God came to me and told me about a flood. None of his friends listened. None of his friends listened. But what made him special? Look, 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 look. Fuck. Uh, what made him special? He acted upon it is that he acted upon the knowledge of an event that was going to occur. Now, what do you know that's going to occur? What did I just show you? Bang, bang, bang. Q1, 2, 3. Sorry, Q1, Q2. Q1, Q2 of 2019. Bang. Tsunami's going to hit. Look, look, if you've been around here for a while, you already know. If you're new to these parts, look, there's a tsunami of money coming. When I put my hand up to my face like this, it's because I'm looking through binoculars through a special magic crypto wall and the crypto wall <laughs> it shows me the tsunami of money that's coming and look 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 so don't think i'm being crazy <laughs> i'm just looking through the wall and you see you know something now what did i what did you just find out what did you just find out if you're brand new here if this is your first time you never met shamari what did you just find out look moron what did you just find out bang next year q1 q2 Big money is coming. What kind of money? Not little shitty mom and pop money. Not like a $50,000 check from your daddy or your mommy. But what? Institutional money is coming. When? Q122, 2019. I've been telling you guys this. I already know. Next summer, next July, I'm not going to be having to tell you to hold all because you're afraid and because you're hearing the yap, yap, yap from the wife and the yap, yap, yap from your friends. Why are you fucking investing in that crypto shit, man? What's up with that shit? Look, you're down. <laughs> look, you're losing money, huh? Right? Look, look, look. Next year, it's going to be a different yap, yap, yap. Man, you making money, dog. Let me in, let me in. And bang, bang, bang. Look, 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 look. And just like Noah. Look, 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 look. What the fuck here? Let's get fueled. Hold on. All right, all right. That's how it's going to have to be. I see. And just like Noah. Remember, Noah lived in the desert. He lived in Iran. Right? The Bible tells us Mesopotamia. That's modern day Iran. There's no fucking water there. It's a desert. He would start building an ark. All the people, all the people in his city were like, Noah, what are you doing? Why, you, you stupid or something, buddy? But he knew something they didn't. Just like you right now. You know something right now. You know that next year, Q1, Q2, let's look at this. You know that next year, let me position it nicely so you can see. You know that Q1 and Q2 of 2019, what's happening? Institutional investors... You know that, hold on, settle down. You know that institutional money is going to start flowing into the space. What space? Crypto space. Bang. In Q1, two, Q2. That's only a few months away, motherfuckers. Now, what no one know? There was a flood. 
bang, you knew there was a flood. So he had to build that ark. He had to be big because he had foreknowledge. That's what you're getting here, foreknowledge. And like I said, what made him special? It's not that he had foreknowledge because he told his buddies. You don't think he told his bros? Of course he told his bros. They didn't build boats. Nah, just like your bros right now. Come on, man. Let's go hunting, man. Yo, man, let's go on a fishing trip, man. And you're like, yo, 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 man. Nah, I got to buy this crypto. Man, why are you always buying that crypto shit, dog? You don't even hang out with us anymore, me and the boys, man. We're starting to feel like you're dissing us, dog. All right? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not dissing, bro, but I got to build an ark. I got to build an ark. Why? <laughs> because, because I have institutional money <laughs> that is going to flow to me in Q1 and Q2. Hold on, let's get fueled up in this bitch of 2000 and Bumba Clot 19. That's why I'm not hunting with you, you fuck. Look, 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 look. We have a guy, Justin. Hold on, hold on. It's talk. All right. Yo, I'm glad there's a take two on this motherfucker now. Actually, I didn't say all this shit at <laughs> the first take. <laughs> yeah, we're getting deep now. Look, look, look. If you're new around these parts, that's how it goes down sometimes. Look, look, if you're new around here, look, we have a guy named Justin. All right, and Justin, you know what I mean? He knows. And look, look, and he, 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 he brings us the words. We know what's going on here. Shamari knows what's going on with you. Some of you there got to pay some rent. Oh, I know. You young kids, bang, you got some fucking student debt to pay off. Bang. You married ones, a little older ones, the Justin types with jobs and wives and kids and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, the yap, yap, yap. You're hearing the yap, yap, yap from the old lady, aren't you? Why don't we... Why don't we remodel the bathroom? Why don't we get a new car? Why don't we go on vacation? Oh, man, the yap, yap, yap. But you're just buying your Bitcoins. Look, look, just buying my Bitcoins, doing what I got to do. Hold on, we're getting right into this tonight. We're, oh, fuck this. Actually, it's good that we had to do this again because <laughs> I didn't say any of this shit. But for you new folk, you new ones, <laughs> yes, boys, don't worry. We're going to get to the Ripple story. Is this guy ever going to get to talking about the Ripple? Yes, brothers. We're going to. Oh, we are. Oh, and I might have another story there, too. But look, 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 look. You're like Noah. You know an event is going to occur. What event do you know that's going to occur? You know that institutional money is going to start flowing into the space in Q1 and Q2. So you're like Noah. Or you want to be like Noah. So what are you going to do about it? Well, fuck, you build an ark, motherfucker. Right? There's a flood of money that's coming into the space. Noah knew there was a flood of water coming into his space. What makes him special? Yeah, the reason we talk about him because he's the one that survived. The rest of them died, right? It wasn't like Noah and his buddy Joe. No, it was just Noah and his family. Yes. You know. Bang, bang, bang. You're hearing the yap, yap, yap. Oh, and Justin, yes. Hold on, though. Yeah, and you hear the yap, yap, yap from your boys, the yap, yap, yap from your girlfriend. And look, look, we live by one creed around here. Eight words at Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Let's get fueled. Fuck this. Oh, fuck. It's quarter to two in the morning. I got to go trading in a bit. It's all good. It's all good. Eight words we live by around these parts. Shut up, wife. I'm about that hold a life. You about hold a life or what? We about hold a life around these parts. And you see Noah? He was about hold a life. <laughs> and so what did he do? Now let's continue with the story. He got the word. Oh, well, he got diligently to work, didn't he? He didn't sit around like a lazy piece of shit. He got to work building that ark. Oh, yeah, building it nice and strong and big. Because you had to put all the animals. That's what you got to do. Big ark. Got to go to work. The Lord said two by two. I need all the animals. Lions, tigers, chickens, pigs, cows. All of them. That's what you're doing with your ark. There's a flood of money coming. 
in order to survive this flood, well, to benefit from the flood, well, you got to get you some ripples. Got to get yourself some iotas, some V chains, some trons. Throw in a few stellars and bitcoins. <laughs> I mean, get the bitcoins first. Those are the ones that are going to make the real money. But get it all in there. Shove them all in there. Right? You got to do that. Because why? Because you know that. In, let's take a look at the screen again. Don't look at me. Look at the screen. Institutional and the money. Hold on. Let's even let's even do a little action move. Institutional and money is going to start flowing in the space of Q1 to Q2 of what? 2019. So that's like, you're like Noah. God told him, look, the flood is coming between Q1 and Q2. <laughs> so he had to have his shit ready, right? That's like you, you got your shit ready, but bang. While he was building it, all the villagers thought he was crazy. They thought he was stupid, calling him names, laughing at him. All right, thinking he's a moron. They lived in Iran back in the days. They didn't even have enough water to feed their goats. Yeah, yeah, they live in the in that ocean there, but you can't feed the goats salt water. They need spring water, right? They were like, what the fuck, dude? You know what? You've lost it. You've lost it, buddy. You're twisted. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what happened? The flood did come. <laughs> yes. The flood reached. Didn't it? The flood arrived. Eventually. Well, eventually there's the day of fucking reckoning, isn't there? <laughs> there's the day of reckoning. And you see what happened? I bet it just started as a trickle. Right? All the people looking over. Right? And there's all this water in the desert. Just a trickle. Just a trickle at first. Right? And all the desert people were like, what the fuck is this? Where's all this water coming from? No one knew. No one knew Why? Why did no one know? Oh, let's get fueled. Because he was wise. Because he listened. No one knew what that meant. Because he knew that there were institutional money that was going to flow in Q1 and Q2. So, when the little trickle started, he was like, yeah, I know. They didn't know. They didn't know. And you see what's going down right now? We got Coinbase. Yes, brothers, we got Coinbase out there, you see? And we got these guys building custodianship, but we got Coinbase, they have their custody service, and you see the, the hedge funds are coming in already. You notice how Bitcoin's stable now. It's kind of found its floor. That's institutional money. Bang, right? It ain't gonna go down, it ain't gonna go past 5Gs. I'll tell you that right now. Not anymore, not ever again. <laughs> not ever again. In all of humanity, never again. Because now, there's a trickle. You see the trickle? The trickle of water started coming over the plains. Well, not plains, I guess they were deserts. <laughs> but, but the water started coming over the deserts. And so the people were like, what's this? Oh. Oh, fuck yeah, you see? But just like, just like you, no one knew. No one knew what that was. He said, uh-oh. Bang, bang, bang. Those are the few hedge funds from Coinbase. <sighs> Looks like the flood's about to start. Mm-hmm. Looks like the flood is about to start. You see, those are the little signals. Before the full onslaught of the tsunami came, it was just a trickle. All right, so he saw the trickle. He said, oh, this is the shit that God told me about. Bang, bang, bang. So what did he do? Because he was wise. He started loading up his ark. Loading his ark. He sent the kids out. Kids, grab me some elephants, some chickens, pigs, and tigers. Get them all in here. And that's what you're doing. You're building your ark. Bang. Going to need some ripples, some iota, some b-chain, some tron, some litecoin, some bitcoin. Luck, 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 luck. Good animals, good coins in the modern day. Remember, only 36, per, oh, not percent, my bad. Only 36 projects have working product, working product. And when that flood of money gets here, it ain't fucking around with your hemp coin. <laughs> I keep fucking with hemp coin. Oh, the hemp coin founder got in trouble the other day 
actually. Like the real hemp coin founder. But whatever, whatever. Who gives a fuck about him? But but Google that shit. That's funny. I've been making fun of the guy for or those guys for like two months. And then he gets in trouble. But look, 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 look. So you're filling your arc. You're building your arc. And just like Noah. Yeah, the trickle started coming. He could identify it. But you see, look around you. Look at your neighbors. Look at your coworkers. Do any of them know? You're telling them there's a flood. Right? You go to work. You tell your buddy in, I don't know, the accounting department, yo, Johnny, you know, the guy you have lunch with or something, Johnny, man, you should get this shit crypto. It's going to make a lot of money. Oh, man, I can't, you know, my wife wants a a new car. Oh, man, I can't, you know, I got to go to Vegas with the boys. Always some excuse. Always some excuse. But then what happened? The trickle became a wave. Oh, yeah. Just like 2017, shit, shit became a wave. All of a sudden, right, Bitcoin started going up. They started announcing it on TV and on the news and everything. Oh, people started mortgaging their homes and all sorts of it to get on. So what happened? No one, his family, he put his family in the boat. Get in the boat, kids. Bang, the flood's happening. Bang. And then all the villagers who didn't build boats... Well, guess what they wanted to do? Get into Noah's boat. Noah's like, nah, dog. Sorry, brah. I don't have room for this shit. They got me, my two boys, my wife. Oh, and their wives, right? It said that he took their wives, the boys' wives with them or something like that, I think the Bible says. And bang, bang. And then I got these animals, man. Sorry. There's no room for you in the inn. There's no room for you around these parts. And what happened? The flood came. Whoosh. <laughs> Whoosh. Wash those people away. And what was left? Noah and his crew and his family bouncing on the boat, bouncing on the waves. And that's what's going down around these parts. Look, look, you're like Noah. My boys, we know. I know. I already see you, Ronkes and Bob and Edwin and all you guys building your arcs. <laughs> My crew's got their arcs built. We're going to have an arc party. <laughs> We're going to have a big old arc party one day. But luck, 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 luck. That's the point. That's why we're having a party here. December 31st, 2020. I live in South Beach. Oh, so if you're new around here, my name is Shamari Clark. Let me tell you who I am. My name is Shamari Clark. I'm an 18-year investor. I don't work. I don't have a 9-to-5 job. My money makes me money. I'm a Forex trader. If you want to see some of my older trades... You can go to forexfactory.com, type my name in at the top, in the top right-hand corner, S-H-O-M-A-R-I, that's my name, and go down to about the middle in the middle on the left, and you'll see this thing called images. Those are some of my older trades, and then, I mean, you can also read all my posts and all that other stuff, too. Actually, you can read all those guys. Those guys are all traders, too. We're all professionals. That's how we make our money. I'm a professional trader. You know, I'm not a... Nine to five worker be telling you what to do with your money. <laughs> I'm the real deal. But anyway, back to Noah Bang. Luck, luck, luck. That's what he do. He got on his boat. Bang, and he rode the high seas. That's what we're gonna do around here. Ronk is Edwin Evans. We're gonna ride the high seas like pirates. Pirates. I have a little parrot. My my little eye patch. A hat. Boom. I have a big old pirate hat <laughs> with a feather in it or something. I don't know, but look, 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 seriously. But that's what made Noah special. He knew an event was going to occur, and he capitalized on this event. Now, for you and your family, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Well, obviously, if you're listening to this fucking smoking, drinking motherfucker like me, talking shit like this, (laughs) you're obviously investing. Now, you're not too weak to follow through with this, are you? You're not too afraid to hodl until the tsunami comes? That's what it was. That's what it was. You know what I mean? Noah built his ark. Some of his boys probably built an ark, but they sold out. They were like, man, there's no water coming. So back in those days, remember back in those days, they didn't have stoves and fridges and stuff like us. So they, they were like, fuck all this. Right? Some of their boys probably chopped up their boats that they did make 
and turned it into firewood. And then when the tsunami came, what happened? They wish they had that boat, didn't they? Look, 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 you. Don't you sell this shit. Don't you sell this shit. You're not too weak to follow through, are you? Bang! Noah wasn't too weak. When the flood came, he put his family in there, and boom, they rolled the high season. Ham. Hey, that's how we know his name today. Why? Why? Because he knew an event was coming that others did not, and he acted upon it. And that's what you're doing right now. You know that in Q1, Q2 of 2019, bang, 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 institutional investors are going to begin to arrive. And when they do, your holdings, whoops, your holdings, your holdings are going to be nice. Oh, yes. You know about the warehouse, boys. We'll get into the warehouse one another day. We're talking about the ark now. Bang, bang, bang. Your ark is nice. So when that flood comes, you're not afraid. Oh, <laughs> In fact, you relish it. You wish there was more time to build a bigger ark. <laughs> to really be pimp when the flood comes. Luck. But you got to just deal with what you can deal with right now. So Q1, Q2 of 2019. And look, 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 look. Don't be lazy. Remember like when you were a kid? There was the story about the lazy squirrel. All right. Well, I'm from the Northeast. I was born in New York. I grew up in Toronto. So in Toronto, you know, we have winter. All right. So. Let me tell you about a winter story that people always tell. There's a lazy squirrel and there's the diligent squirrel. So the diligent squirrel, all through the summer, right, he, he went and he got, gathered his acorns. And while he gathered his acorns, he also put some aside for the winter months. Well, there was a lazy squirrel and lazy squirrel just ate all his acorns. He didn't put any aside. So winter time came. Hold on. Hey, hold on one minute. Let me just finish my show. I'll be out there in five minutes. Five minutes. And the lazy squirrel, he he uh, gathered, gathered nuts but just ate them. He didn't leave any for winter. So what happened? Well, you know how it goes. Like squirrels, <laughs> they hibernate. So they're animals, and they sleep in the wintertime, like, you know, the whole month or whatever. You know how they do that. Like bears, you know, they, boom, just sleep for months <laughs> off the, all the food they ate. They eat all this food while they're awake, and then they sleep it off. Well, fucking lazy squirrel, he didn't have any food in the wintertime. So what did he do? He went and, you know, knocked on diligent squirrel's door and said, hey, diligent squirrel. I notice you have a lot of nuts over there, man. Let me have a few, man, or else I'm going to die. Diligent Squirrel was like, nah, dude. If I give you some of my nuts, sure, I'm going to live for a while, but I'm going to die at the end of this thing, too. Sorry. And look, look, you're the Diligent Squirrel. Why? Why are you getting crypto? Because you know that institutional investors are coming when? Q1, Q2 of next year. And like Noah, just like Noah. Oh, you're going to be a happy motherfucker when the fucking waters are all rising and the seas are, when the tsunami hits and you just ride that wave, you ride that quest, the, the crest of the wave proudly and happily. Okay, that's what this whole channel is really all about and making sure that as many of you ride it as we can. All right, so there's some Noah. Furthermore, <laughs> where are we even at? So, do you get it? All right, so build that warehouse, build the ark. Build that ark. Furthermore, he said the Goldman Sachs, one of the biggest financial institutions in the U.S., will be announcing details regarding the launch of their custody in the next six weeks. Like I said, guys, you don't build custody services and shit for nothing. Uh, according to him, the space has witnessed a massive growth because of which there were a lot of people hopping on the bandwagon. This eventually resulted with ICO selling their coins to pay salaries to their employees to cover uh, and cover for their healthcare and computers. The founder thinks that that selling is finished and that is the reason for the bounce back in the price last week. I don't know if I agree with that, but what I will just say is, in my opinion, like we said, we now have what? We now have, where is it? Where is it? Bang, bang, bang. We now have custodian services and now that we have custody uh the beginnings the first hedge funds are coming in 
and they're about to make some money. So they've stabilized the price. Imagine this paper is the price. Bitcoin, bang, it's, it's just going to keep bouncing off that. But eventually, whoop, it's going to take off. Why? Because of like you guys did last year, well, there's going to be institutional FOMO. Fear of missing out. They don't want to miss out. And bang, 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 they have a lot of money to put in. And we're going to have a lot, lot. We're going to have an explosion, and you are going to be rich. And like I said, 2020, December 31st, bang, bang, we're going to have a party around these parts. Look, I live in South Beach. We are going to party. Holy. All righty. Look at it. It's 2 in the morning. You see how that person just knocked on my door? That's how it rolls around here. All right. Ripple now has seven partners uh, with XRP and partners. Blah, blah, blah. The solution X Rapid. All right, let's just get to this quickly because I got to go. The, the number of companies to fully implement X Rapid's payment product is growing. Uh, Ripple created X Rapid to find financial institutions a real time settlement solution that utilizes XRP to increase the speed and liquidity of cross border payments. Uh, crypto exchanges, BitterX. I thought it was Bitrex. Bitterx. <laughs> Job, Polly. Uh, Bitso and CoinPH are the latest partners that will use XRapid to send instant cross-border payments with low fees. London-based MercuryFX is also on board. Bang. Oh, and they said they did a pilot project, and they said that XRapid was unbelievable. So that's good news. All right, SBI's new, oh, SBI, I know, Edwin, he loves this. SBI's new cryptocurrency exchange, SBI Virtual Currencies, is also planning on joining XRapid to help financial institutions send cross-border payments. Bang. And a number of additional companies are also officially piloting XRapid, including IDT corporations, but this is the one, this is the one that matters. MoneyGram. Bang. Look, look, you guys know how I roll. I don't invest in shit unless it has major corporate backing partnerships or major government partnerships moneygram constitutes one of those for me in terms of the ripple world uh because as you can see right here western union recently announced that its pilot of x rapid did not save the, the company time or money this is what i want to hear i want to hear things like moneygram and big companies taking this or at the end of q1 i'm selling my ripples evans i know you love ripple he schooled me on it but look look i'm in this for the investment Sigar sabhai ripples head blah 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 said it's it's official launch official launch will be in about a month bang all right guys let's get out of here i got people at my house bang 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 let's look 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 oh okay so look look uh let's do shout outs and airdrops look airdrops are free coins so go to at this is one of our guys here he's the minister of airdrops um on twitter hold on let me show you his face well actually i can't show you his face <laughs> my bad but let me just at least show you his representation of himself go to at bob 84411320 bang and you're gonna get airdrops those are free coins free coins that are pre-ico tokens and, like, believe me, man, like, you should see this fucking guy. He's got, like, about 800 coins <laughs> in multiple wallets. And look, look, and if you try to play with him, he will hunt you. He will hunt you. We'll get into that another day. And <laughs> the boys know what I'm talking about, though. Luck, luck. Don't let him hunt you. Luck, luck. All right, hold on, though. Let's just get over this guy. I got to go. Uh, if you want, go to at CB Newswire. That's the, um, the uh, what do you call this? This show, uh, Cryptocurrency Blockchain News Show on, uh, on, what's that shit called? Twitter. And you can find it there. I'll put the Discord stuff up there as well. So come on over to Discord. We have all our information and stuff there. Now, bang, let's get the, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm supposed to shout out people. Let's shout out Elvar. See you. Bang. DJ Bollywood. Bang. You're going to have on BitterX, buddy. <laughs> Invicta. See you. Bang. Airdrop, yo, airdrop 2410. This guy lives, he lives in uh, Hawaii. Man, he just went through two fucking hurricanes. Airdropping like a motherfucker, though. <laughs> yes. Oh, and this son of a bitch here, airdropper 707, Ronkes from the Netherlands. I see you, Ronkes. You son of a bitch. <laughs> he took that name. <sighs> anyway, anyway, we're not going to get into it. All right, all right, hold on. 
Bien, bien, bien ting Khan. Bang, see you, brother. There's the minister. Bang, Bob, see you, brother. What else do we got? Crazy, oh, not crazy. Crypto Zerp. Bang, see you, brother. And there's Bob. Oh, he's doing what? DATP official. Bang, bang, bang. What else is he up to? He's always up to no good. <laughs> Actually, he's always up to good. So that's good. What else are you doing? Save Crypto Network. That's another airdrop. So you get free coins. Like people, I'm reading you these things that Bob does. These like this. Yeah, you see that? Save Crypto Network down there. Hold on. Let me even open it. Let me just show you. Yeah, you're going to get free tokens. Does it say how many? Yeah, like, oh, these are self-drops. Oh, so you can even, so these are pre-ICO. You can send these guys like 0.01 of an Ether, and these guys are apparently going to give you 1.5 million of their save crypto network tokens. But anyways, 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 like, look, look, look. Just go to those airdrops, do those, and just get your token on, all right? Bang. Oh, oh, he's murdering it. But he always does that, so just be used to that. Genius Kitchen. Oh, he said the Genius Kitchen one wasn't cool. Oh, he said there were some naughty boys out. So also, that's why you got to follow him, because he'll tell you which ones are scams. Like, he hunts people down. So he found out yesterday, I think he had like five... I don't remember how many, but it was like five or six airdrops. He was like, nah, nah, nah. This is all the same dude. And he showed us his Ethereum address and like all that kind of shit. Like Bob doesn't fuck around. So anyways, though, so uh, Fiend coin, bang. That's what he did. All right, all right. BTC, FTW, blah, blah, blah. All right. Pluto coin, see you, bang. Bang, I don't know what language that is. But bang, bang, whatever you're up to, buddy. What did it say? And lover to meet a girlfriend. In the, oh, what the fuck? All right, fuck off. <laughs> it's a stupid shit. All right, Bobby did add me too. Bang. PKG token, see you. Rap. Oh, wrapped ether. Bang, see you. Crypto time, see you. All right, guys, so let's wrap it up. Daria... General Lova, see you, girl. Johnny Gisbrecht, bang. Oh, Gisbrecht, where is where's my man? You know who I like. TK, see you. Moonshot, see you. It's showtime. <laughs> All right, buddy. If you say so, see you. Bang. Where's my man, Van Brienen? Van Brienen's taking the night off, I guess. He took the weekend off. We'll catch up with him later. All right, guys, so. Luck, 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 luck. I love it. Bang. Subscribe. Bang. Press the bell. Bang. Shamari Clark. Always on duty. Over and out. Bang. <laughs>